Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Bill. I'm an expat and I'm living in the Philippines. Real quick, what a beautiful day we have today. Nice and sunny, no rain. Always like no rain days. All right, so I got a couple products here today that came in. I got them on sale. And what they are are these little tiny portable card type stove. This is the K202. It is actually very tiny. It's made to run on both butane and propane. And I did pick up some cans of butane gas that supposedly you should connect to this. For some reason, it says 2,800 watts power. I guess that's the heat that it can produce. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I am going to connect the gas and I am going to boil some water, right? Very simple test. So let me put the mic down, or the camera, excuse me. And let me set it up here real quick, hopefully with a view of what I got going on. All right, so I'll just pick one of these here. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got a, a bag with the equipment and we got a little instruction kit here. Uh, before assembly, make sure that the flame adjuster is off. Okay, good to know. Check the seal, the O-ring. Check that the appliance is connected. The gas cartridge is in tight. Uh, before lighting the appliance burner, place the appliance down on a firm level surface. We'll do that. Open the flame to four turn, okay. Press the ignition. You should hear a pause sound. And if it doesn't reunite, press, the, press it again, okay. Now there's a slight breeze out here, but let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So. The bag is um, what I would call a very cheap quality material. It's, it's not canvas or any kind. I'm not even sure what it's particularly made of. All right, so the unit has legs. All right, so it has some folding legs here. Let's see if I'm showing this on the camera. All right. It's not that very heavy. Okay, so folding legs. It looks like these are the pot holders. All right, so I, I'm just putting them out to the corner. They have a little locking notch there. Not locking, but like an indicator. That would be my lighter. Yeah, I see a tiny spark. This would be the gas connector and it is off. Okay, let's open one of these cans here. That should work with this guy. All right, so I have not even Try this. Okay, so it has this kind of a little connector, and if I look at this, there's a, a little tab here and here. There's only one tab here though, which is interesting, so I'm thinking I hook under one, push, and then turn. All right. Yeah, so that's in there pretty good, and I, I, heard, I heard the little gas escape, so I'm assuming that's fine. Now, I'm gonna, it's a little breezy, but I'm gonna try this, so. All right, so yeah, there's flame going. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. So that ignited real quick. So I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna put a pan of water on there, and let's see how long it takes to boil something. Stand by, two seconds. All right, so I'm back with the little pot here, and I got about four cups of water in there. Now I put my water bottle here to the side as a kind of a windshield, but let's see how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna open this back up again. I can hear gas and it's running. All right. So I'm gonna let this sit. I'm not gonna cover it even though I should, I don't have a lid. And I will start the countdown now and I'll let you know how long this takes to boil water. Another two seconds, stand by. All right, it has been seven minutes. You can see the flames, or I can anyways, the flames are coming outside of this pot. I did turn this up pretty high, but what I'm curious about is how close the heat is to that little plastic nozzle. So I'll be curious to see if that's the manufactured break point in this device, is that that thing's gonna melt and not be viable. Now it's slowly starting to boil. I don't know if the video will show the bubbles, but it's definitely not at a, a raging boil yet at all. So I'm gonna give it some more minute 
And I just wanted to show that the flames are here and uh, it's uncovered and it's definitely uh, breezy out here, which would be conditions that you might find yourself using such a type of uh, backpacker stove. So stand by two more seconds for the next update. And I'll let you know when the water's boiling. Stand by. All right, so it's been another four minutes in this uncovered pot in a windy situation has not come to a raging boil. It is definitely hot. You can, you, you know it's boiling or it's very close to boiling, but it just seems like in this condition, the breeze as well as being uncovered uh, won't bring it to a boil. Now for sure, I, I could have put a, a lid on this pot and for sure I could have, you know, forced a boiling, but I didn't have a lid for this pot. And in some situations you might not have a lid. And I could have done this in a controlled environment with no breeze. But again, how realistic is that when you're backpacking? So I'm gonna go ahead and end this review. It will make water hot. And if you take care, you can get it to probably to a raging boil with the lid or a different container. And you can probably get it to boil faster if it was indeed protected from any wind or any other element. But I wanted this test to be real life. This is the situation I have here. And this is the test I'm given. Now, I'll have the price linked um, down below is where I bought it. It was extremely cheap, all right? So in an emergency situation, especially if you're away from anywhere, these little guys are, are portable, um, they're lightweight, and at the end of the day, they'll make food warm at a minimum. All right, guys, if you like these kind of reviews, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you're not subscribed, check out some of my other content. Maybe you'll like that stuff as well. And until next time, you guys be safe. Thank you.